Yo, what's up, yo? This is Killer Priest, and I'm representing right now for Kofi Universe. That universe is the universe you should be in. YouTube salute the ghost SP names Biggie Smalls as the greatest MC that has ever existed man we about to break this down so if you're new to my channel thumbs up the video hit the subscribe button click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live also cast your vote for Kofi's Universe Hall of Fame East Coast solo artist from 1990 to 1993 the link is in the description nominate four artists check out new interviews with Diabolic and Killer Priest so SP the Ghost was on the Big Face Gary show. If you don't know who Big Face Gary is, he used to be the A&R of Rockefeller Records back in the day. And he actually did work with Benny Siegel and many artists on Rockefeller Records. And he interviewed Styles P. You can check out the interview on YouTube. It's a 10-part interview, and it's a great interview. I watched it a couple of nights ago. So, he said that Biggie is the greatest MC that ever existed. This is Styles talking. He said the reason why is because Biggie went global, but I want to break down everything he said. He said the evolution from each of those three albums, Ready to Die in 1994, into the second album, The Double Disc, Life After Death, Big wins on the evolution tip. I didn't say either one of them albums got better because each one of those MCs, I respected their second album as much as the first which make me fall in love with them as a fan, as an MC to go solid. They did it again. I know it's real. I know what's going on. He's talking about Jay-Z, Reasonable Doubt in 1996, and um, in my lifetime, Volume 1, that came out in 1997. Then he also said, this is Styles saying, he hit a different chamber and the level to even have the audacity to say my second one is going to be my second and third one. So he's talking about the double disc that came out um, that was released uh, um, two weeks after Biggie was murdered in 1997. May he rise in power. Um, let me break this down. I love Styles P. He's one of my favorite rappers of all time. But to me, that's subjective. That's his opinion. I understand Biggie helped Styles P write, excuse me, not write, how to actually memorize the rhymes in your mind in your brain when you're in a studio instead of writing things down because biggie didn't write he listened to the beat 30 minutes hour whatever he did everything in his mind went in the studio went in the, uh, the booth knocked it out i know jay-z is like that too but styles got that from big biggie taught him that and he always said that biggie it was like you know well-rounded as far as an mc i can agree now when you're talking about three MCs in general, then let me just break down these three MCs. Look at Jay-Z, Nas, and Biggie. That came out like, what, mid-90s? Okay. To me, Nas, Illmatic, 1994. It was written in 1996. By far, Nas is better than Biggie. Biggie had more of a mainstream impact than, than Nas. I agree to that. But Nas, lyrically, ain't nobody messing with Nas, even on a story level. You know, Jay-Z, Biggie was better than Jay-Z. His albums were better than Jay-Z. I do agree to that. Now, there are other artists out there. A lot of people felt that Tupac was better than Biggie Smalls. For real. Even though his albums that came out on Death Row, we're talking about All Eyes on Me and Machiavelli. Those albums, to me, classics. You know, Biggie have classic albums too, so I'm not going to take nothing away from Biggie. We have other artists out there that might not ever get the shine but you have to put them in, in, in as the best MCs of all time. We're talking about Ice Cube. You better throw Ice Cube up there. You better throw Snoop Dogg up there. You better throw Scarface up there. You better throw Rakim up there. You better throw Karis One. What's up with Cool G Rap? Biggie Smalls, trust me, he, 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 he knew what time it was. Big Daddy Kane is definitely up there. There are so many MCs that you can actually say is a GOAT or one of the best MCs of all time. Top 10, top five, your favorite MC is gonna always be subjective because it's what you're trying to hear. We're talking about creativity, storytelling, wordplay, lyricism, um, the way you write a beat, excuse me, beat, freestyling. It can go on and on and on. Nobody's right or wrong, but to me, my favorite MC of all time, I'm going to put Kara as one, but I'm not even going to put him in the um 
And like, oh, he's number one overall. I, I feel like he's on Mount Rushmore, Mount Kilimanjaro. You got to put certain MCs up there that's like, you can't even say they number one because what they've done, they paved the way. Now, I know Biggie Smalls was murdered. I know he, he's not here no more. He only released two albums. So, maybe if more albums would have came out, we probably would be having this talk right now saying he's the best MC ever that did it. We can agree to that. Maybe, maybe not. Some people are going to disagree, and that's fine. But if Biggie Smalls would have never died, and he would have put out three more albums that was classics, and they would have kept evolving, yes, we'd probably be saying that right now. Then that's like saying if Tupac never died. We'll be having this conversation right now, too. Big L if he never died. Big Pun if he never died. There's a lot of MCs that they would have never died a lot of these rappers in the industry wouldn't even be around right now. If Tupac would have never died, Biggie never died. I don't believe even Jay-Z would have blew up as much as he he is now. Not on a, um, a hustler's mentality. Not as far as financially. I'm talking about more as just the, 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 the pinnacle in rap. Like reaching that that pinnacle, I don't I don't believe that. Like I believe that Biggie would have still been outshining him because Jay Z was in his was in his shadow. Jay Z didn't really get his little his little thump until Biggie passed away. And I hate to say that Reasonable Doubt was tight, but that was slept on. Like as far as people was like it wouldn't go. It didn't really go platinum until like years later. Now Nas he made a name for himself already on the underground tip. And then when he came out with, um, it was written, if I rule the world, that went double platinum, that album. And then with triple platinum, then he started to do other things. So we already knew that Tupac was already killing the game, going five times platinum out the door first month. So if Tupac would have never died, everybody would have been saying that. Now on, now going global, yes, Biggie has that. I can't take that away, but Tupac had that too. There's so many MCs. So like I said, we can go back and forth all night argue about this who's right who's wrong to me i disagree with styles i love styles he's one of my favorite rappers of all time i don't believe biggie's one of the best rappers of all time as far as the, excuse me the greatest rapper of all time no not for me so i want to hear from the community who do you think is the greatest rapper of all time if you can't answer that well give me your top 10 mcs of all time and why but if you can't answer that question the greatest mc of all time Please tell me why. Be precise. Post your comments below. Hoax smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support and donate to the channel, I have Patreon. Patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Vimbo Cash Out, PayPal, Stream Apps. Everything is in the description. Until next time, salute. If you're looking for me to react to any song freestyle video, that's $20 per reaction. For sponsorships, that's $50 minimum. Also, hoax smash Black Panther the like button, subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Also, if you want to become a Patreon member, patreon.com slash Kofi Universe, Venmo Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description, y'all. Salute.